What is going on guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball today. I'm gonna show you how to change the lens on the Empire Helix goggle. I didn't even know you'd want to change a lens on a Helix. Well, that's the whole selling point here, Mark, is obviously if you want to buy a sweet lens, they come in multiple colors, you know, fires and mirrors, all sorts of stuff. You can change the lens on this thermal goggle to make it look extra sweet. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, first off, these are thermal goggles by Empire called the Helix. If you don't know, now you do know, they retail $39.95. The biggest thing about this is you can get one of these lenses at normally 40, 50 bucks alone, something in that range, a uh, whole combo for $59.95. So for an extra 20 bucks, you can customize this on the website with whatever lens you guys want, put it in this goggle. Um, the foam is comfortable. It does come with a visor. And the biggest thing is what we're here today is to show you how easy it is to actually change the lens on this bad boy. So, and also it does come with a nice woven strap in the back, silicone tacking, so it doesn't slip around on your head and a pretty comfy chin strap. See that bad boy, Mark? I, yeah. I mean, for $39.95 for a goggle, I mean, that's not a bad deal. So let's hop into how we're gonna change the lens on this. So on the inside, let me know what you need me to do so you can see it, Mark. Okay. In that area, there's gonna be a tab, left side, right side. They're literally labeled with an L and then an R on the other side here. We're gonna have to pull this tab out first. So let's set that lens aside. We're gonna pull this tab out. I know my hand's gonna be in the way, but this is going to be the little tab that pops out. And then all you need to do, it's on base pretty much like a swivel mechanism here. You're going to take it, get a good grip, swivel, and then this shell, this piece will come undone from the inside. And then there will be a tab that's actually gonna be able to be one set, take the clip off, swivel it out. You're gonna push this tab from the inside, and this will be the piece that you are left with right there. And then you're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Pull out the tab, let me get the strap out of the way. This one has an R, R for right side obviously. We're gonna unclip that tab, set it to the side, and then we're once again going to swivel this bad boy. So we're gonna swivel, so you're, you're swiveling it towards the top of the mask. It's a little confusing because you're upside down right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, want to make sure. So pretty much, oh, there goes the other piece yeah. that you're going to have come out. But once you get in there, once you pull the tab out, guys, you're going to actually notice that, uh, wow, yeah, just if I swivel it, which would be towards the top of the mask, these clips are going to be, you know, allowed to come undone. So once you pull the tabs and you get your the retainer clips off, now the lens simply will just come right off the front of the goggle locks into the nose piece, so you will unhook that. And that is how the lens will come off the front of the goggle. This nose piece, obviously this region here, is kind of what really digs it in there and holds it in place other than the retaining clips. So let's throw, what do we got here, Mark? A fire mirror. Got a fire mirror lens, uh, lens-wise, guys. Uh, E-flex, vents, E-vents, stuff like that will fit these goggles. I mean, for 60 bucks with a swap lens, you really can't beat it. Let's throw this bad boy on in there. Mark, didn't you take some pictures of these recently? I did. They'll be on the website soon if they're not already. Okay. Uh, and I really like the look of this with these because it really showcases the it's full... It's hard doing it upside down. Sorry. No, it's it's, it's fine. It's I'm part of the video, man. Sorry, man. I didn't... No, it's going to be okay. You always got to make sure we get this nose piece lined up in there first um, to get a, a correct fit. Let's see yeah. if that's going to work. That should be pretty good, I'm assuming. Just looking, making sure it's upside down is hard to do. That's okay. fair. Yeah, I found the the hardest thing was making sure the nose was pushed all the way down to where that's where it that's sits what in I'm place. Fighting. Yeah. I think uh, I think we should be able to get that bad boy on there. Yeah. Okay, so then you're gonna go back to the actual uh, inside of the goggle, looking at making sure you're gonna be lining this up with your piece here. And then you should be uh, should be ready to rock. Make sure you got the L for the yeah, L. Yeah, I was just gonna say I did that. Yeah, so I'm looking on the L side. So we'll grab the L side, and uh, boom, we're gonna rock that bad boy in there. And then once again, we're gonna use the actual strap that's gonna swivel in, and uh, we're gonna get it locked into place. I know it's Mark. You're probably not seeing anything, but no. Line it up, and then we're gonna swivel it 
back into position and then you lock your tab in. So right in this area, Mark, is where the tab is gonna lock into. Give so, me one second. I wanna get closer to show where that tab is. So you're gonna find the, I'm obviously doing the left side of the goggle. Yep. So you're gonna find your left tab with the L on there and it's gonna lock into position right there. Uh, where are we at? Left. Mm, yep. Do me a favor while we got it in this shot because I'm close. Yeah. Show me the swivel one more time. So it's going to go. Hold on. Yeah, I know. It's hard with the fan. Yep. So that's so, the swivel yeah, motion. Yeah, hold it up and then move your hand out of the way so we can see. Okay, and then pull it down. Yep. Nope, that's great. And then you're going to be able to swivel it back in. And that's where it locks. And then once again, that's where the actual tab is going to be put, put in place to lock it in. So sorry, Mark, but it's gonna get a little obstructed here. But now you can see that is where the tab is locked in. Perfect. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side, guys. And that's pretty much it. It's super simple to do. Um, yeah, like I said, $39.95 for the goggle. If you want it clear lens the way it comes, if you want something fancier put in there, we can uh, make that happen for you as well. Mark, uh, while I'm putting this other side in, you got any questions for me? You like that browser? You know what I'm saying? The browser, yeah, yeah. The it's not a it's not just a uh, visor. Mm -hmm. It's not just a brow protector. No, it's a browser. It is a browser, so it protects. It's a visor and it protects your brows as well. Check that out on the mm. item description. Tell me how you like that. No, but, I think it's just amazing that a, because a lot of the other uh, lenses or not lenses. I'm sorry. A lot of the other. Uh, Empire goggles. Yeah. When you snap the frame, or the visor in, yeah. it fits. A frame goes over top, and it takes yeah. away some of the look. This is exposed on all sides except for the little bitty. Do you part know that how many sides nose. though? How many sides, Mark? Two hundred and seventy degrees. Ooh. Two hundred and seventy degrees of field vision on this bad boy. So. So I think cosmetically, this probably has the the it's most exposed visor area. Than maybe the EVS. It's, just it's pretty it's good. So, it's it's pretty good. It looks really good on yeah. the lens, to yep. be fair. Um, so guys, quick video, a little overview on how to change the lens on them and options to kind of you know hype up this. I'm not even going to call it a lower end mask, but it's a beginner mask. Yeah, it's, I mean it's a beginner mask, but it does come with a thermal lens. It's got the visor. It's got a nice strap. It's got the foam on the inside is actually pretty darn comfortable. I mean, for being a very beginner goggle, it's not too shabby. So uh, thanks for watching. LomoPaintball.com for all your paintball needs. And until next time, we'll see you at the next Lens Swap. Yeah. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments, and we'll get them answered. Or go check out the new Facebook group, too. That's Let's it. See you. Take it easy, guys.